Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use if, else if, and else statements in Python. The reason why you want to use if statements is to perform a certain action based on a condition. So let's say we have level equals 100. And if the level is at least 100, then we will print out you are boss level player. And as you can see, it prints out you are a boss level player because this condition is true. Let's make level equal to 75 and add in some more if statements. So if the level is greater or equal to 50, we print out you are a mid-level player. And if it is greater or equal to 25, we print out you are a low-level player. As you can see, it prints out you are a mid-level player and you are a low-level player. But according to our logic, we only want to print out you are a mid-level player. So why is this happening? Well, the reason why this is happening is because it will consider this if statement first, and the condition is not true. So it will move to this statement, and yes, it is true, so it will print this out, and then it moves to this one, and this condition is also true, so it will print out you are a low-level player as well. To fix this issue, all you have to do is use else if. So we just add in el, and elif basically means else if and do the same here. Let's run the program again. And now you see that it only prints out you are a mid-level player and it does not print out you are a low-level player. Let's see why this is happening. So first, it will consider this statement and the condition is not true. So it will go to this one. Here, the condition is true. So it will print out you are a mid-level player. The difference between the normal if and the else if is that once a condition inside the else if is true, then it will print out this one and it will skip everything else. So it will skip the rest of the else if. And that's why this one here is skipped. So I hope everything made sense so far. Now let's try to change the level to 10 and see what happens. When we run the program, it does not print out anything. And that's because it considers all three of these if and else if statements and none of the conditions are met. So that's why it does not print out anything. To fix this, you need to include an else statement. And we'll say print, you are a beginner. Once we run the program again, you can see that it prints out you are a beginner. So this means that an else statement will perform the action when none of the other conditions are true. Write one if statement to print out you get bonus HP and rewards if the person is a VIP or an admin. So let's say we have a variable called status and status is equal to VIP. If the status is a VIP and we use the in operator here, so VIP or an admin, then we shall print out, you get bonus HP and rewards. And indeed, the program prints out, you get bonus HP and rewards. Now we want to print out no rewards if the person is not a VIP or an admin. So to fix this, all you have to do is add in the not keyword. We can change status to something else. Let's say beginner. Here we change to no rewards. When we run the program, it will say no rewards because beginner is not a VIP or an admin. Another way to solve this problem is to say not status equals VIP or status equals admin. So this right here will do the exact same thing. And it prints out no rewards. In computer science, when we say not A or B, this here is the same as saying not A and not b. So if we say if status is not equal to vip and we use this symbol here and status is not equal to admin then we will say print no rewards. We can also remove this one here. And when we run this program again it will also print out no rewards. And this formula here is called De Morgan's law. And there is one more, so if I copy and paste this, 
if we change the or to an n, so not a and b, this will be the same as saying not a or not b. So these are some useful properties to know, and it can be particularly helpful to understand if statements. Let's go ahead and do one last example for today, starting with age equals to 18. So I guess we can remove all of these comments. So age is equal to 18. And if the age is greater than or equal to 18, and age is less than 120, we will print out, you can play this game. Now, note that the shorthand way to writing this can be this. So simply, if 18 is less than or equal to age, and less than 120, it will print out, you can play this game as well. So let's run the program. And you can see that it will print out, you can play this game twice, because both of these conditions are met. So that's basically it for today, and I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next one, we will talk about how to use functions in Python.